Murray Glossus Hacchetti, formerly known as Zaglossus Hacchetti, was one of the most enigmatic and fascinating creatures to ever walk the prehistoric landscapes of Australia. As a member of the Monotreme Order, Murray Glossus Hacchetti held a unique place in the mammalian lineage. Distinguished by its egg-laying reproductive strategy, a trait shared only with its modern relatives, the platypus and echidnas, this ancient giant echidna roamed the Pleistocene epoch a time characterised by ice ages and the presence of megafauna across the Australian continent. The story of Murray Glossus Hacchetti begins with its initial discovery. The first fossil remains were unearthed in the early 20th century in the caves of Western Australia. These remains included bones and distinctive spines, reminiscent of modern echidnas but on a much larger scale. Paleontologists were intrigued by the discovery, as the fossils indicated a creature far larger than any extant echidna with estimates suggesting it could have weighed up to 30 kilograms or 66 pounds. Originally classified as Zaglossus hacchetti, the giant echidna was placed in the same genus as the long-beaked echidnas of New Guinea. However, ongoing research and advancements in paleontological techniques led scientists to reevaluate this classification. Detailed morphological studies, coupled with genetic analysis of related species, suggested that this prehistoric giant possessed enough unique characteristics to merit its own genus. Thus, it was reclassified as Murray Hacchetti. The physical appearance of Murray Hacchetti would have been striking. Much like its modern relatives, it had a coat of spines interspersed with fur, providing both protection and insulation. Its snout was long and slender, adapted for probing into soil and decayed wood in search of insects and other small invertebrates. The powerful forelimbs and large claws were ideal for digging, a trait shared with contemporary echidnas. Living in diverse environments of ancient Australia, from woodlands to open plains, Mariglossus hacchetti played a vital role in its ecosystem. As an insectivore, it helped control insect populations and contributed to soil aeration through its digging activities. Its presence in various habitats suggests it was a highly adaptable species, capable of thriving in different environmental conditions. The diet of Mariglossus hacchetti likely consisted primarily of ants and termites, much like modern echidnas. However, given its size, it may have also preyed on larger invertebrates and even small vertebrates. Its elongated snout housed a specialised tongue coated in sticky saliva, enabling it to efficiently capture prey within the narrow confines of termite mounds and ant nests. Reproduction in Mariglossus hacchetti, while not directly observable, can be inferred from the reproductive strategies of living monotremes. Females would have laid small leathery eggs, which they incubated in a pouch or a specially constructed burrow. After hatching, the young would have relied on their mother's milk, which was secreted from mammary glands and absorbed through the skin, as monotremes lacked the parts required by most animals for feeding, which I can't say the name of because YouTube will probably get upset. The decline and eventual extinction of Mariglossus hacchetti remains subject of ongoing research and debate among scientists. Several factors likely contributed to its disappearance. Climatic changes during the Pleistocene Epoch, leading to habitat alterations and reductions in food availability would have posed significant challenges. Additionally, the arrival of early human populations in Australia may have introduced new pressures, such as hunting and competition for resources. Although Mariglossus hacchetti is extinct, it continues to live through its living relatives and in the sediments that hold it as part of the fossil record. Its discovery has helped understand the evolutionary history of monotremes and the ancient environments of Australia. The reclassification to Murray Glossus exemplifies the ever-changing nature of science, where new evidence can reshape understanding of the past. But the discovery of Murray Glossus Hacchetti reminds us that Earth has long harboured a world of species often strange and mysterious, whose stories have only now begun to be pieced together from fossil fragments. In summary, Mariglossus hacchetti, the giant megafaunal echidna of ancient Australia, is one of many examples of astonishing biodiversity that has existed on this planet in the past. A journey from Zaglossus to Mariglossus that tells us a little about the continuous development of knowledge that curiosity-driven science drives. Thanks for watching.